It seems like this is something that was released to give a brief hint source into what to expect and also to keep developers and programmers from getting too comfortable in their seats as the holiday season approaches. Sponsored by Clean My Mark X. What's up guys, welcome back to HMHT. So before 2020, yes, of course, of all years, we were actually getting other releases when it comes to macOS updates. So like Catalina was version 10.15, and then when version 11 came out, it came out as 0.0, and already this year we are talking of version 11.2. That's like two years in advance in less than two months which is kind of crazy. But other than that, I'm sure you can relate to what I mean. I've been using this macOS Pixel 11.2 for about four days now, and this is my follow-up video. I hurt my finger while playing basketball the other day, so I might probably need a sub. Now, this version didn't bring out quite a lot. In fact, I tried to dig to see what are the changes and uh, new features, and to be honest there isn't a lot that came with this update but there's a lot that's running in the background i'm just going to touch on a few of the bugs that i've experienced myself when it comes to this update now the first one has to do with third-party applications so if you don't use like apple browsers or apple apps most of the time you're going to notice a reduction in performance the launch time of some third-party application seems to take longer than what was there before so i don't know if this version perhaps went unoptimized for third-party application but yes you will be able to open them but however the performance won't feel like exactly the same as what was there before on 11.1 the official version also when it comes to an apple application which i use a lot imovie i'm seeing some misaligned text when i want to save or share my project this is something that has been there for some time now and i've reported this quite a number of times so if it's also something that you are experiencing then you can also report it and the more people that report the issue the higher the chances of that issue being resolved also so another app that I use a lot that is experiencing some issues has to do with Final Cut Pro. So I use Final Cut Pro a lot to edit some of these videos and also this one that you're watching is probably going to be edited on Final Cut Pro. And I noticed that ever since I went to macOS Pixel 11.2 beta, it actually started to drop more frames frequently. So from time to time, I'll get notifications within Final Cut Pro just letting me know that I've dropped frames and my fans will actually also be spinning like to the maximum like a jet about to take off literally. So that's also another bug that I'm experiencing on this version and also I'm experiencing some Bluetooth issues. So I have the MX Master mouse, MX Master 2S, that's the version that I use. And sometimes it just like disconnects by itself and third party peripheral devices are having issues with this update. So I think that sort of explains why some people are seeing like disconnected keyboards all the time and also airport switching isn't working all the time so that's also another bug to look out for I've, i'm experiencing it when it comes to bluetooth when connecting to my mx master mouse brightness is also another issue that i've been experiencing especially when i hook up a secondary monitor to my macbook here so sometimes if i connect an external monitor i will notice that the brightness sort of fluctuates from time to time like it can take a minute fluctuating up and down but it won't go all the way to the like the dimmest option that there is or to the brightest option it will be fluctuating somewhere in the middle right there so it's also another bug that i've experienced with this update now before we look at the youtube community results let's have a quick word from our sponsor this video is sponsored by clean my mac x it's an all-in-one utility that takes care of your mac's health and speed it also has a real-time macOS cleaner performance monitor malware remover and so much more it makes it easy to remove hidden junk in your system and keeps your mac applications up to date and removes the unnecessary junk files it's now also available on the app store so you can always check it out and i'm going to leave a link in the description of this video that will take you directly to that now if we head over onto youtube and then go to the community tab that you see right there just takes a moment to load and then we go to the results that have to do with macOS Pixel 11.2 beta. So I basically asked how is macOS Pixel 11.2 beta working 
for you. And as you can see, at the time I'm recording this video, we have about 218 votes. This number could slightly be higher by the time you watch this video. So the most voted option or the option that I should say matters most at this time says I'm on macOS Pixel 11.1 or older. So, so many people haven't yet upgraded and I do advise that you not upgrade to this version. It's highly unstable. And the build number that we have with this update is actually one that depicts this. So if you can see here, you can see that the build number is an F at the end. And in terms of stability, F is not the best. So this is the most voted option. And then you can see that 16% said that it's great. And as you can see here, we have 6% that said it's okay, but some issues. And then 4% said it's terrible. And then 9% said I use Windows. And if we look at some of the comments we see here, I actually went through most of the comments. And as you can see, we don't have people that are saying, you know, I have like a bricked MacBook as a result from updating. And some of the issues that people are facing have to do with Bluetooth. Those are mostly what I'm getting in my other social media handles. So that's the YouTube community results that we have here. Now let's look at the battery performance because battery performance is actually a big thing when it comes to these updates. So if we go into the system preferences right there and then go to the battery section, as you can see, you can, if we go away, it says last 10 days here, you can see the sort of screen on time that I got while using this update. So for example, if we look at Friday, you can see that I got about four hours of screen on time and that was basically charging this device twice. So I used 200% and I got four hours. The day after that, you can see that I used about 80 to 90% of charge and my screen on time didn't show. And then also on Sunday, I know that I was testing the battery performance of this update. So, and as you can see, it's also not showing any energy usage when it comes to this update. So this is a bug that I've been experiencing on this update quite a number of times. And as you can see, basically, this is how my last 24 hours look like. So you can see that it's basically terrible when it comes to this battery usage. You can see the exact, like the sharp drop when it comes to battery performance on this Mark West Pixel 11.2. When it comes to overall device performance, Apple applications, most of them are working as they are supposed to, besides iMovie and also Final Cut Pro from time to time because those are the main ones that I use a lot. Safari seems to be stable and that's a good thing. However, when I use Google Chrome to try and do the same things that I will be doing with Safari, I noticed that the battery drain is like crazy. I don't know why this seems like it's not optimized properly for third party apps, but this is how it's performing for me. I wouldn't really encourage you to update to this macOS Pixel 11.2 beta, unless otherwise you are a developer and you have something that you want to test out and make sure that it's working. Other than that, for developers and programmers, read the source code, you might find something interesting. Now, this is how it came in for me. If you like this video, a like would be good Good, but a sub will be better. Stay safe and I will see you in the next video very soon. Peace.